Well, with opening ceremony behind us now, there are a lot of shop owners here in the central part of Paris that are hoping things return to normal, or at least as normal as you can be during an Olympics. Many shops in that central part along the Seine River closed because of opening ceremony security. A lot of people couldn't make it to their shops. We visited one souvenir shop, though, that decided to stay open. The top are the magnets, of course. When you're a visitor in Paris... We have different type of magnets and prices and stuff. It's normal to want to bring a piece of Paris home. The kitchen, there's something that always works. Jessica Salas has been working at this gift shop in central Paris for about a year now and knows anything with the Eiffel Tower on it. Yeah, that's something that always works. She loves meeting people from around the world. Knowing a smiling face and friendly attitude helps give people a great impression of Paris. That thing, like helping people, talking to people, is something that, at least for me, ah, it's really nice. It's just lately she hasn't been able to do much of it. Yeah, we, we hope that after the opening, it's going to... Get, it's gonna start getting better. You see, her shop is located along the Seine River near the Notre Dame Cathedral, right where opening ceremony floated by. And because of the closures that come with security concerns, only locals and those with the proper credentials could get into the area. Most shops and cafes here closed for the time being, giving the streets an empty feeling. The reality is that right now is. <sighs> It's insane. <laughs> Last weekend, Solace had two customers on Saturday, three on Sunday. Normally, she'd have hundreds. Yes, it's quite crazy because usually for us, summer is like the biggest, you know. But she has hope. Opening ceremony is now over and the barricades are starting to come down, meaning tourists can start roaming the streets again. And after that, you can become like a really in love of the city. And for Solace, a chance to be an unofficial tour guide once more. Oh, well, you can go with this or you can do that. Of course, with a souvenir to go along. You know, it's something really nice. <laughs> yeah, you got to get something really nice when you visit Paris. Now, I think a lot of shop owners feel the same way. They're hoping that as things start to ease up a little bit with security, more tourism, more crowds, which for them means more business, something you would normally get a lot of with an Olympics. And you got to tell you, Debbie, walking around here today, there is definitely a buzz in the air. You're starting to see more crowds at those popular spots. People are excited that the Olympics have finally begun. Back to you. And it's 1 a.m. now, Alex. 109 a.m. on the dot, Debbie. You got <laughs> okay, it. Okay, <laughs> okay. Go get some rest, and we'll see you soon. Alex, thanks. Great coverage for us. We appreciate it. Well, KSL is your exclusive home for the Paris Olympics. Our coverage of the Games continues tonight at 6.30. Sam Farnsworth will host the Olympic Zone from Paris. Join him for feature stories about this year's athletes. And then at 7, the NBC primetime broadcast begins with replays of today's events, including women's diving, women's swimming, and men's gymnastics. And of course, more live coverage from Paris tonight during KSL 5 News at 10.